Hello everybody, welcome to Mr. B Clothing here at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in always gorgeous Clive, Iowa. I'm here with Tim Sitzman today, and Tim, I couldn't help but notice, I mean, you get the big wreath outside. Right. You got the Christmas music hopping. Do you know what? Here Mr. Looks, it, it looks like the season. Does it feel like it to you? It is the season. Yeah. Indeed. I, you know, as, as as a clother, you're sitting at, hey, maybe, maybe we need a little weather, maybe we need a little blustery uh, snow, a little cooler weather get but, the mood going get the mood going yeah. but I, I say turn on the turn on the radio listen to some uh, some Christmas carols and come and see us it's easy to drive to uh, 1995 Northwest 86th Street and and see Mr. B's we're all decorated out and going and uh, we have a great selection of product uh, we're ready to wrap a gift and carry it to the car and make you uh, comfortable in our store and uh, we like to see all you fanatics come in and say hello Tim what's the big uh, what's the big fashion that's in this year. So let's say, uh, you know, you're going shopping. Maybe you're going to come in here to Mr. B, get something for your wife, but you need to pick something up for yourself. What's what's the it thing? Well, you year? know, right right now we're doing a lot of seasonal clothing. You know, like corduroys are yeah. nice. And, yeah. and uh, cashmere sport coat would be nice for a gift for your husband or your best uh, your best friend out there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of little items. But, you know, I, I, as you look at it overall, everybody's out getting those iPads and mini iPads and all that stuff. But I think clothing is going to be a big item for this Christmas and I think we're going to see a, a really strong Christmas so what I suggest is get out there early so you get your size and get what you want all right 1995 yeah, Northwest 86th Street come on in uh Tim let's uh do a little review uh the 2012 regular season yeah. for the Cyclones today a little off on your prediction this year but I, you were real close I, I, I like you, you know like the the, uh, the the inspector gadget said I missed it by that much, that much. you know it's just one of those things but uh you know, six and six was a good year. I, I had them seven and five. I missed a couple of games. I think I missed yeah. the TCU game, and and I don't know where else I missed. I I think we both picked them to beat West Virginia. At the we end. did, we did. And I had them at six and six to start the year, um, and then towards the end of the season, I, I saw I was like you. I I saw seven and five, fell a little bit short, but uh, you know, I I think when you, when we started doing the Sitzman pick segments back in the summer. There weren't many people who had Iowa State even going six and six. So I think, you know, from that standpoint, it was a successful year. You know why I, I think it was a successful year though is the fact that they went six and six, and people were it left people wanting more. It left Iowa State fans thinking, you know what, gosh, got it. We should have been eight and four. Right. That, that's a, you know, it's not a moral victory. What it is is a sign of program growth. The fact that Iowa State fans are now expecting more from their football team. Right, and, and I agree with that. And I. You know, analyzing a little bit as we talked before we went on camera is, uh, you know, I look at a couple of pivotal games. You know, the TCU game down there, and, and that was a big, big win. You yeah, know, you think yeah. you look back and 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 you look at it, just those every day that you go out there on a Saturday, it's it's a big time to play football and, and get that win. And I, I I think they were a seven and five team in my heart. I you know a couple things slipped away right when we should have had them. Uh, they played great against Kansas. They they played some great games. Played great against Oklahoma. Played really well against Kansas State. A very fine team. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we all know the Big 12 Conference is a tough conference up and down. And to play in and out, and you come out of that conference eight. And I don't think Coach Rhodes would say, I'm, I'm satisfied. I, I don't think he's going to be satisfied until he wins one of those titles. Yeah, and, I would and, agree and with that. That's, yeah. that's his optimism. And, and I think the players feel that. I think the fans feel that. And that's why it's fun to close out the season with optimism for next season. What are, what are you going to take away from 2012 as far as do you have a favorite memory? I, I'll tell you what, mine was. Um, Two things come to mind. Jake Knott's interception at Iowa. Truly an iconic play in the history of that rivalry. Right. I think it's one that, you know, hopefully I'll tell my kid about someday. I remember when Jake Knott picked off that pass. I mean, right. and ultimately pushed Iowa State into a bowl game. And, you know, I think the Sam Richardson entering the game at Kansas was extremely dramatic. Nobody saw that coming. I, I certainly didn't. And then, you know, leading him to that four touchdown, uh, 51 point outburst in Lawrence. A couple things that come to my mind. Anything come to your mind well, specifically? You know, and I, I was going to, I was going to narrow in on two years ago that what happened at, at Ames with uh, the Oklahoma State win and how yeah. that propelled this season and how it put the excitement in it. And I, you know, and I, and I don't want to sound this way. I think that this season, as we got to the uh, West Virginia game, that would have been a big game to win. I, I agree. Think, I think it would have propelled them. And I think we got a little bit of a, well, I can't wait for next season, but a little bit of disappointment out there in, in, in Cyclonville. I mean, yeah, they're yeah, all saying, yeah. hey, why didn't we get the, but I, I look at it this way. I, I think that they've, they've found a new quarterback. I think they found it in the Kansas game, as you talked about. I think it was a little pitch and catch. I'm not so sure they found it against a good defensive team. Correct. But yeah, I, I like the young man a lot. I think he's going to be. He's the future of Iowa State football in the in the quarterback position. 
I hope he quits running so much because he's going to get hurt. Going to get hurt. He's going to get hurt. You better have three of them behind him. Yeah, but, yeah. But I do like him a lot. I think it was pivotal that he brought him out at the end of the season and said, "Hey, this is our future mm-hmm. and not our past." And he's looking ahead. And you know, I think that. Uh, there's a quarterback that sat on the sidelines toward the end that has going to have to get in that game somehow. Maybe we can put him on, on the wide receiver position. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, the, it, the, there's a lot thing, of talent there. I think you got to feel better about the quarterback spot heading into the next year, probably Absolutely. than you did this one. And, and, and I think Coach would tell you the same thing. He's got some talented kids. Yeah. And, and you know, let's remember that they're 18 to 22 year old kids trying to play a game, and you know, they they aren't going to be perfect every day they go out. And fans always want perfect, and, uh, and that's what we should expect. Uh, but I, I think overall, my my uh, memories of this season will be that the, they're progressing. Absolutely. E- even the record doesn't tell at all. Well, the good thing is the the season is not over. No. We're gonna have a bowl game. We'll talk I, about that. I, I'm next anxious. Week. I'm anxious for the opponent. I, I think it'll be fun, and I hope it's a I hope it's a reach for the Cyclones. I hope we have a really tough opponent that we kind of go ooh, and I, that that makes it more spice it up a little. Bit. Right. Yeah. Makes it more enjoyable to to go in there and give it your all and get a win. Well, we'll find out on Sunday night. That's when we're going to. Yep, that's right. Sunday night. So next week, when I'm in here with Tim, we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about the. Well, bowl it, game. it's been a fun season, and now we're looking forward to a, a, a great basketball season with a great a lot of talent up yeah. there for for Coach Hoiberg and and what's going to come, and we'll have a lot of good conversation about that. Yeah. Uh, big game coming up on Saturday. BYU. BYU comes to yeah, town. yeah, it is comes to town, and uh, you know the Big Twelve up and down again. It's going to they they bring some. Kansas, a talented Kansas team that's always there, you know, and there, there's some good talent. And Texas is always formidable, goes right up and down again. So Absolutely, it'll be a it'll be a fun season of, of uh, uh, round ball. We're looking forward to it, Tim. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Uh, yeah, right. and I'll, I, we got a lot of time to wish you Merry Christmas, but I, I know I, I ate a lot over Thanksgiving. How'd, yeah. you, how'd you do? I'm uh, I'm still trying to diet here the next <laughs> last few days. I. Uh, Grew a couple pant sizes over uh, the week. Well, yeah, all those of you that have gained pant sizes, we got one to fit you. All yeah, right. So come on in and see us. Come on in and see Tim, 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Uh, we'll see you next week, everybody.